Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here with another video. This one is going to be about AD Katarina mid lane. I really like Katarina myself personally, but for some reason when I play AP, it just feels really, really weak. Or not really weak, but you just struggle killing anything that isn't like legit a cannon minion. Like someone who's like really squishy. But with that AD like on hit build, you can kind of kill everything. You can kill tanks, you can kill bruisers, and you still have enough damage to kill the squishies as well. Although you do have a little bit less burst damage, I would say, overall. For this build, you want to run Conqueror. It's pretty much always Conqueror because you are, like, auto-attacking. And Conqueror just makes you do more damage with the auto-attacks. It's also pretty easy to stack up with Katarina. I'll show you a room page right here. This is what I run in this game and what you probably will be running most of the time. is just Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, and then Second Wind overgrowth and then 80 80 and probably scaling health or you can go for flat health both are probably fine i would take flash and tp but some people like thing like they don't take flash on Katarina, right now they just go like tp and ignite which is also fine if that's your playstyle you don't really need flash on Katarina because she's already so mobile but i would still recommend just taking flash there are some otps who just play with like barrier ignite or tp ignite stuff like that about the build order, most of the time it's Q into E into W, but there is something weird that people do on Katarina, which is like the meta, and it's you you do Q into E into W into two more points in Q for three total, and then you start maxing E. So you don't actually max Q, you put three points in it, and then you max E first, and then after that you finish up to Q into W, and of course level your ult whenever you can. I don't know why people do this, but apparently it is the meta on Katarina, so just stick to that i guess so about the build the build is pretty much just the on hit items that you would expect from ad katarina it's like bork kraken terminus wits end and then you can go for like bruiser or defensive items after that there's also a stride breaker build going on that sometimes people do i haven't really experimented with that but it's probably pretty much the same except you go stride breaker which helps you like stick on the target i guess because you just slow them this build feels really really good Orc in general feels just so strong and does so much damage. If you don't know how Katarina works, her ult applies on it, so you just spinning will proc Bork, it will proc Kraken, it will proc Wits and damage, and just all of that. I think optimally what you want to do is build Blade of the Ruin King first into a Kraken second, and then after that you have the option of going into a Terminus or a Wits End depending on what looks better into the game. The Wits End gives you tenacity, so if you're versus like a heavy CC comp, and also like a lot of AP damage, you probably get more value out of the Wits End than the Terminus. But I think overall the Terminus would give you more damage. A lot of other viable items that are like buildable is like a Death Dance, a Randowins. Even Titanic Hydra is apparently built and has a decent win rate. Which makes sense because you can also use it as like an auto attack reset and Titanic Hydra is also on hit. You'd be spinning proccing the Titanic Hydra. But that is just the core build. Play with the Rune King, Kraken. And then either Terminus or Wits End. And after that you can kind of build everything. You can even build Black Cleaver on Katarina. If you really, really need the armor shred. But you gotta keep that in mind. This is an AB build, AD build, not an AP. So you actually care about like the AD damage and the armor shred. Compared to normally the AP damage. But the nice part about this build, which you can see in this game. Is that not only do you have damage early game. You have damage mid game. But at any point, once you get Bork. You're pretty much able to 1v1. I guess anyone, any bruiser, any tank, which normally on AP Katarina, I feel like you cannot do. Like there's so many, there's so many times where you play AP Katarina and you like jump on a target and you do your combo and then you're just pretty much out of damage. You also have a decent amount of attack speed from all the items that you bought. Also just random, but boots for boots, you usually just want to go defensive boots. You don't really care much about the CDR. You don't really care much about like Berserker's Grief attack speed. You just go either armor boots or mercs most of the time. Or well, 100% of the time, to be honest. Kind of just feels like EP Katarina is just a bait at the moment. It just feels like worse than the AD build. And that's actually surprising because Katarina's winner is actually kind of decent. And that's still with... It seems like half the people playing Katarina are still playing AP. That's probably dragging down the win rate like a little bit. So it's actually even better than it probably looks. Because there's still too many people playing at AP when the AD build just feels superior in like pretty much almost every way. Katarina is just also really really fun to play. So playing with like a strong optimal build is probably the most fun because you can do the most. But yeah, yeah, just try it out. Let me know how it feels because I, I promise you it actually feels really really strong. The Bork power spike, the Kraken power spike. You're just like randomly spinning on like tanks or bursts and you're like hold up. How come I'm just ran 
How come this guy is randomly zero health? It legit feels like that when you play it. Alright, that's pretty much all I have to say about this build. I'm just gonna let the video play out now and show you, I guess, a couple clips from the game that I played. Like, this is in like a diamond lobby, um, so you can kind of see like the strength of the build and how easily it is to like kill certain champions, like certain bruises and tanks, and how you can just pretty much carry a game with this, I guess. Thank you for watching. If you do enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to not get him isolated. Oh my god, don't hook me. No. We're not chasing that for some reason. Okay. Just alive, Jin and the other dude. We can actually probably force a win here. Hard engage would be nice for someone. No, I feel like I kind of have to 1v9 and win, but 